Hey guys, Mike again. On the table behind me, I've got an LG unit. It is a 70UN7070PUA. I'm gonna show you how to take the back off as well as remove the boards. And as always, be sure to give us a call at 1-800-203-7484 for any orders, and let's get into it. All right guys, once you have your TV flipped over on its back side, uh, this is a 70 inch unit. Uh, we're just gonna get all the screws removed from the back of it, and we're gonna get you a better angle, uh, so that way I can show you how to actually get up underneath of this frame and be able to get this lifted up and off. All right, guys, uh, easiest way to do this is gonna be back here along the base of this television set. Just take a flathead screwdriver, and you just wanna barely insert this enough to get up underneath the metal right here, and just lift up on it. It kinda pops free away from it. And like I mentioned earlier, there are no clips holding this in place. And we can just lift this entire back up off of this television set. All right guys, we're gonna start out here with the main board. Um, if you take note, we do have some clips around the outside and then just some screws to take care of. Pretty simple here, so let's get started on that. This guy here, as always, flip it up with your fingernail and then you can just shimmy that ribbon cable directly out from the board there. And this guy right here, uh, he's gonna have a lever right here in the middle. We're just gonna press down to release that latch and pull it directly out. It goes to both of our speaker wires, so be very gentle whenever we're pulling that one out here. This guy here, we're just gonna pinch on the sides to release and pull it directly out. These I usually have some troubles with. Uh, now if you're pulling this uh, plug out, sometimes whenever you're pulling it out all the way, uh, it'll just come out on one side instead of uh, both of them. If that's ever the case, just plug it back in all the way and then restart it. That one came out relatively easy that time. Here's another ribbon cable. Flip up on the flap with your fingernail and be very gentle as you pull the ribbon out from the plug there. You don't want to damage anything. And we've just got some screws around the outside here. All right, and be gentle lifting up in case there's adhesive. There is not on this particular uh, piece. And that right there is gonna be your main board. All right guys, uh, we're gonna go with the T-Con here. Uh, if you notice, we've got this big plastic housing that's kinda in the way, but it's not gonna give us very much, uh, very much issue getting the ribbon cables removed. If, however, you are replacing this T-Con, you will probably want to get this removed, but I kinda tried it myself. You can get these ribbon cables back in here, no problem, uh, if you've got big hands. Uh, it's just a couple of screws to get this entire piece off of here. It's very, very simple. Um, at this point, what we're going to do is uh, take a gander at this guy here. It's gonna be an LVDS cable. We're just gonna pinch it on the sides and pull it out away from us. These can give you some grief, so just be patient with it. It walks right out of there. These right here, regular ribbon cables, just flip up the flaps with your fingernail. And then we're just gonna shimmy the ribbon cable directly out from the board there. And that comes away just fine. Same with this one here. Get some good grip on it and slide it just right out of there. Close up that flap and you're good to go. And then we just have some screws here around the outside of this. Be careful lifting up. It feels like there might be some adhesive still underneath of this board. So just kind of work with it a bit. And slowly but surely, this should just come up and free from the back chassis. Flipping this over, there was that piece of adhesive, and that's gonna be your T-Con board. All right, guys, uh, power supply is gonna be the last one here. As always, take a look at your clips. This one right here goes back to your backlights. Uh, it is very uh, fragile, so be careful pulling this one out. We're just going to pinch down at the top to release that lever and pull that directly out. This one here on the uh, corner, we're gonna squeeze it on the sides, pull it out from the board. These can give you some issue. This one looks like it's going out pretty easy just like the other end of it did. And then we just got some screws. Be gentle lifting up. There is no adhesive, thankfully. And that right there is your power supply. All right guys, pretty simple stuff again today. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe to the YouTube channel, your first order will qualify for 20% off. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.